Hey beauties, thanks for tuning in to CYB TV. This is Cherish. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I get some natural looking nails using poly gel and forms. So if you wanna see the process and how I get these cute little pink sugar nails that I like to call, then keep on watching. I'm here to make you look great. Feel great, think great, be great. Yeah, I'm here to make you look great. Feel great, think great, be great. Yeah, I'm here to make you look great. Feel great, think great, be great. Yeah, I'm here to make you look great. Feel great, think great. All right, so to get started with, what you'll need is a LED or UV lamp um, to cure the nails, some rubbing alcohol, um, a file some forms, some utensils, and some little jewels and the polish you like. And also you will need some cotton balls and some paper towels and the poly gel nail kit. You don't have to get a kit, but I've been having this kit for a long time and these little uh, gels last. It comes with the top coat, base coat, it comes with the, everything you need. Even this little um, gel picker upper and brush. So yeah, this kit, I will have it linked in the description. I got it from Amazon, so if you're interested, you can check that out. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the shade. I pretty much used them all. This one is probably the one that I haven't used along with another one. So I'm going to go for like the natural pink blush color. So that's what I'll be using, y'all. I'm just going to lay a piece of paper down. And let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to be using this rubbing alcohol um, mainly for distributing the gel on the nail in the forms. And I'm going to be using this nail file to, you know, shape the nail. And I got that from the Dollar Tree, y'all. So first I'm going to go ahead and clip my nails down. Um, then I'm going to throw away that little piece of, you know, paper and then get a fresh one. And now we're just gonna go straight into buffing or preparing my nail beds for the gel. That way the uh, gels can stick to my nail. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of taking off that extra um, shine and making it gritty. All right, so once I'm finished with that, next, we're going to go into ta -da, a finished set. <laughs> so I went on and finished this hand um, off camera. But now I'm going to go and show you guys the process on how I, you know, do the other hand. So I ended up using my drill as well. So this is something that's optional that you can use if you don't want to go through with just a nail file. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys how I use that later. But, um... Right after buffing the nails, you just go into using a base gel. So the base gel comes with a kit, so that's what I'm doing. I'm doing a, a good layer on the nails, and then I cure the nails for me. I do it for two minutes, but they say up to 90 seconds, but I just go ahead and press the button for 60 seconds twice to cure my nails each time I do a layer of, of gel, okay? So after that, you can see the nails are shiny. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the alcohol to take off the, what we call tacky layer, or, you know, I don't know who made up the term, but that's what it's pretty much called. You're taking off that shine. And now I'm gonna just pour a little bit more of this rubbing alcohol inside of the cap just for me to use when I need to apply the gel. So now I'm gonna take these forms, you guys, and, um, and the forms are really good to use for really, really shaping the nail to your desired shape and length. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to each of my fingernails. You want to put the form right underneath your natural nail as close as you can. And also optional, you can use um, some extra tape to tape it because sometimes the forms like to pop open. 
So I like to bend that little piece right there and then also the back. And I'm adding tape to the back. So you'll see <laughs> me add tape to it because the form sometimes like to pop open. I don't know why. And but these are old. These, these ones are super old, super old. The newer, fresher ones pro probably won't pop open so easily. But yeah, I go on and put a little piece of tape on the back. Right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up and finish applying these forms, y'all. Yes, and I like the forms too because see, if you really want the point, you can really, you know, make sure you um, point the forms to get that nice point. But you'll see my shape, or you already saw it kind of in the beginning. But yeah, I'm gonna take the gel right now and just squeeze a generous amount onto this brush. Um, the more you put on. Uh, you know for the first time it's better to me so you won't have to keep going and dipping into it so i just rolled this bead of gel onto um the apex area which is right between the nail and the form that way i can build that up first and um it's easier to do it this way that way you can make sure you get it get that nice full apex so your nails won't break easily um so the thicker you make it, the better you can kind of shape it. And when you go in with a drill or a file, it's not thinned out a lot. So um, the shape I'm going for is going to be um, a square looking type of shape. I'm not doing my nails long this time. Um, they're going to be, like I said, natural looking to me. So I have very long nail beds. So <laughs> just a little, little bit. Um, of an extension makes my nails look long so I don't really need to go super long so now I'm just going to take some more gel and now I'm going to go closer to the cuticle um, still want to make it super thin close to the cuticle so I'm taking my time around that that area <laughs> because if you do it too thick around the cuticle um, it will lift easily and then you will probably get hair stuck in there it will just lift and come off more quickly. So you wanna make that layer super thin around the corners, the edges, and the cuticle. So that's what I'm doing, y'all. I'm just taking my time. Now, um, with the gel, what I love is you can um, literally take your time. Um, you can do them all at once and then cure it, or you can do one by one. Um, I just went on and cured the thumb because it's like kind of on the side so um, it can run a little bit but the gel it's it's pretty stationary until you cure it which I really really love because I used to do acrylic and acrylic for me though that once it dries it dries <laughs> so I really took to poly gel because I feel like I can take my time um, less anxiety <laughs> And yeah, I don't know, I just like how it lasts too. So I'm just gonna go through and do all of my nails um, with um, you know, the technique that I did for the first one. And yeah, y'all, pretty simple, pretty easy. This is a good um, starter uh, like method like using the poly gel if you're a beginner and doing your own nails from home because yeah like i said you can take your time you don't have to worry about the um you know the stuff drying up on you the brush getting jacked up and you know it's cool So yeah, in order to get that off, I just kind of roll the brush until the gel comes off. That's the best way I, you know, find to get it onto the nail. And then I dip it into the alcohol and that just allows the gel to spread more, you know, quickly and easier. So yeah, um, right now I'm just measuring up to the other hand to make sure it's going to be about the same length because I don't want one 
side to be shorter than the other or longer. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this hand off. So after finished curing the nails, you can see they're done. Um, I'm just going to pop off these forms. And um, after taking off the forms, I like to examine the nail. If I need to go in with some more gel, just to kind of even them out, make them a little fuller or thicker in some areas, then that's what I do. Um, but I really took my time on this set because I figured I want to keep refilling these nails. Um, you know, keep them on as long as I need to or I can and then refill them. So, yeah, right now I'm just going on with a file now and just shaping them just like I did the other hand. Um, after I finished with shaping the nails, I go in with the drill. Um... The drill just pretty much buffs it a little bit more, makes it much smoother, quicker. So that's why I end up going um, in with the the um, the drill. And with the drill, I found it easier to do when you use circular motions. At first, I was just so stuck on using like a nail file because I'm like, okay, that's what they taught us to use in beauty school is just the file. So. Um, once I obviously got out of beauty school, I was like, let me try the drill. And it took me a while to get used to it, but I found out circular motions with the drill is so much safer and easier. So now I'm just taking off the dust and all of that extra stuff with the um, alcohol and just to make them clean. Next, I'm going to go ahead and just clean up and wash my hands. That way, my hands can be super clean, and I mean, I still kind of got a little dust, but still. Next, y'all, is polish time. So, I chose this polish. I was going to do, like, a design and everything, but after seeing just this polish, it looks so pretty, and just, like, I don't know, it's just natural. It's very subtle, but pretty. Um, the camera doesn't do it justice, but it's, like, a pink, sugary um, look. I was like, oh, I don't really need to do a design. So I'm just sticking with this pink sugar nail polish. That That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> that's super simple and pretty. But I am going to go ahead and add a little, little something, something, just so it won't be too plain. I don't know. I always got to add some type of jewels. So I'm just going to take this nail glue, add it to the nail that I want to add some jewels to. Then I'm going to, um, you know, put a few jewels. And that's what I decided to do. Now it's top coat time. I'm just going to go ahead and put this top coat. Um, this is a gel top coat, so you won't have to worry about the polish chipping or anything like that. And it stays shiny the whole time, which I really love. So that's what I went on and did. And of course, you already know, time to cure it. I cure it for two minutes. And voila, these are the finished nails. I really love them. If you guys like how they turned out and would try this at home, then definitely subscribe and thumbs this video up for more. I will be doing some more nail videos, so stay tuned. And thanks for watching.